Welcome to Linda's TV show. If it is your first time of stopping by and you like this program, please do not hesitate to subscribe and you turn on your notification bell. That is very, very important as it will enable you to know when I upload a new video. I present to you information about what is happening in the whole world. Nigerian, to be precise, you are free to leave your comment constructively after watching each of my video. Please do it judiciously. I appreciate all of you. It's not easy for you to leave whatever you are doing to watch my program. May God Almighty bless you because I do not have anything to give to you as we hop into today's video. Okay, you seem to be the only prominent person or among the top list of uh, prominent persons who seems to fight for the liberations of the Nigerians. Like say among others like Shogore and few. Now I wanted to tell us what do you think that the Nigerians are mixing? Specifically let's focus on the ethnic group now because it's like the only Biran France are the one fighting to liberate themselves from the bad governors. What do you think that other ethnic group are missing? Ethnicity is irrelevant. What matters is the policies being pursued by any specific or particular government or regime, not where they come from. When people tell you nonsense about it is our turn, why don't we wait till 2023, they are only deceiving you. And if you allow yourselves to be deceived, things can only get worse. Fulani terrorists will take over your land. Time and time again, I have warned you on this very matter. But some of you never ever listened. I told our Yoruba friends that this thing you're supporting, this very evil government you're supporting, when they tagged IPOB a terrorist group, you supported them. You are going to pay a very heavy price for it. Had the Yoruba journalist stood up and said, IPOB did nothing wrong, you cannot tag them a terrorist group, believe you me, by today, you will not have Fulani people occupying Yoruba forests and farmlands. Because in this life, what goes around comes around. If you support evil today because you're benefiting, eventually that evil will overwhelm you. The same thing happened to APC. The same thing happened to Fulani Caliphate. They brought in terrorists from all across the Sahel. They brought them into Nigeria to try to force Jonathan out of office. Now Jonathan is out of office. They are now, of course, reaping what they sold, all of them. I have seen tons of video recently that the, the Fulani are taking over the forests of the Yoruba people, like say the Yorubas. The issue now is that what do you think that the Yorubas are mixing or what do you think that Yoruba did wrong that makes this uh, Fulani to take over their forests and what should other states do to avoid these same uh, occurrences in the future? That is the price you pay for duplicity. That is the price you pay for treachery. That is the price you will continue to pay until you rise up and say enough is enough. It is up to you to do it. You did it during NSARS. You can do it again. Can you imagine Fulani people telling you if you remove Fulanese from Yoruba forest? Imagine Fulani telling you if you remove them from your ancestral lands, there will be war and you are panicking and you have not asked yourself why are they not saying something about the east why did they not say to eastern security network why did they not say to me if you don't stop evacuating foreign terrorists from the forest there will be war because they know they understand psychologically that you don't have what it takes to resist them your lives are being taken away from you. Your forests are being occupied. Your mothers are being raped. Your daughters are being abducted. And the whole national government, presidency, is supporting such people. And you're telling me that Nigeria is viably sustainable. Is that what you're telling me? That somehow this contraption is sustainable, it is viable. It can never be. Because the more you stay in one Nigeria, the more you are inviting the Fulanese to take over your ancestral lands, to take over your villages, and to make life a misery for you. That is the end game. That is the outcome. If you doubt me, go and do a bit of research. Ask yourself, who are the Hausa people? Who are the Nupe people? Who are the Bachama people? All of these people were steamrolled by the Fulani march to the, to the Atlantic Ocean. And now they're in Yoruba land. They're in their forests. They are in their forests. And who is going to drive them away from there? 
if not the Yoruba youths. Forget about your, your useless governors. Your elders are very strong. I love Yoruba elders. The way they behave, the way they talk. Very, very strong. They said they support Akere uh, uh, Dolu. This is the governor from those state. They support him in what he's doing. People must come out to say that enough is enough. When you travel to the north, do you live in the forest in the north? The Igbo people are in Sabongeri in Kanu. Are they living in, 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 in uh, of course, it's house land. Are they living in the forest? They came to the town. They work very hard. They build houses. They build mansions. They develop the entire place. Is that not what they do? What are Fulani people doing in our forest? Nobody can answer that question. They say that they're pastoralists. World aspiring to be a member of the UN Security Council, where you move cattle from place to place. Are you people? Are you people well at all? You so-called Nigerians? Are you? Are you normal in the brain? I'm asking you a simple question. Show me a country that aspires to be in the 21st century, moving cattle from place to place. Tell me they're grazing. Which country is that? Please tell me. Some, all of you, don't have any shame when you have. People, an entire presidency coming out to defend a very primitive, archaic agricultural practice. Then you know you embrace your mess. You are in one almighty trouble, I'm telling you. You people are in a mess. The Holland that you get your pig milk from, do they move cattle from, from Rotterdam to, to, to Amsterdam? I'm asking you a simple question. But they produce the pig milk that you're drinking every blessed day. Why can't Fulani produce pig milk in, in, in Sokoto? Why can't they produce carnation milk in Kanu? They have the cattle. Before the white man came, did you see any flannel in your forest? All these people talking rubbish about uh, movement of cattle and movement of... I'm asking you, before Britain came and handed over Nigeria to Fulani, ask your grandfathers, please, or your grandmothers. Ask them. Okay, what is the difference between the, the Amsas and the Fulani? Because everybody seems to see that all of them are Aumsa, but the names Fulani came in not quite long ago. Like everybody knows that Fulani actually exists, but not in Nigeria. There, so now it seems to be more confusing. What is the difference between these two people, Aumsas and Fulani, or Aumsa Fulani? Centuries ago, you have to go back to history to understand how Nigeria came into existence. Fulani has been expanding from day one, from Senegambia. All the way from Senegambia, they've been expanding, 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 and now they are in Okiwe. All the way from Senegambia, they are now in Okiwe. You are setting up yourself to become like the Hausa people. Remember when Hausa was supporting Fulani? We are Hausa Fulani, we are Hausa Fulani. Where are the Hausa people today? I ask you. Where are those Hausa people today? Do you see them anymore? Those saying we are Hausa Fulani, we are Hausa Fulani. Do you see them again today? Do you see them? I'm asking you. No, because Fulani have completely overwhelmed them. It's called emasculation. Completely emasculated them. And what is happening right now? I ask you what is happening now. Fulani have now come out to tell you we are Fulani people. Is that not what they are saying now? They are not telling you we are Fulani. No more Hausa Fulani. What does that tell you? That the Hausa race no longer exists. Do you want the same thing to happen to you? Hausa is gone. It took Fulani very many years before they came out of their shell. Remember before, many years ago, they told you, we are Hausa Fulani. We are Hausa Fulani. We are, because that time, their, uh, their subjugation of the Hausa race hasn't been completed. Now they have completed it. Have they not completed it? Uh, let's say, a lot of people are saying that, uh, let's say, not a lot of people, allegedly, not all, uh, not all Igbo leaders are in support of this uh, Biafra movement of 18, specifically those governments and majorly Winke. So what do you think about it? Like, like what is your plan over all this division? Like there's no unity amongst the elders, leaders who are supposed to join the movement of Biafra. Have they not completed it? In the east, they come to the east, I will tell you, oh, oh, you want to be the president or vice? Yeah, 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 yeah. They say, give us land for Ruga. They give them land. The soldiers of Kadu did that law, Banta. They have taken it over in forever and ever. Give us land in your state. Hope of them are proof to us that you are stood. Give us land in Olu. Hope of them will give them land in Olu. We can go and kill people in, in Obibo. We can kill for them. 
How many Fulani governors are prepared to kill bandits? I didn't say normal people. I'm talking about armed, dangerous bandits. How many Fulani governors? Go and read your newspapers, you will see it there. Fulani governors are negotiating with them, giving them arms, giving them vehicles, making sure that their life is no longer in misery. But see, they come down to the south. They tell you, give us land for Ruga. Go and kill your people to prove to us that you're one Nigerian. That was why Obioso was talking rubbish. He was uh, talking was it yesterday or two days ago. Supported by the BBC. The problem you people have in Nigeria is this. Your journalists, you see people, Punch, Newspaper, Tribune, Vanguard, and Nation, they are your second worst enemies. I'm telling you the truth. They can never, ever be objective in their reportage. Never, ever, ever. That's why all of you are suffering. But you don't know it. They were the same people used to scuttle the NSAS protest. Of course, some of you went about looking for Indomie in warehouses. Only Fulani students can now imagine the East. It, it, it took them very many years, nearly 50 years, to accomplish this very simple task of making sure that everybody, be it Ohaneze, be it Pandev, be it governor, anybody you're bringing out must come to the North to swear allegiance to the Caliphate. All of them, by none. Is there any political godfather in the East? There is none. They all go to the North to go and swear allegiance to the Janjaweed. That is why our life is in a mess. That is why they can bring someone like Obiozo and make him the, um, the Ohaneze President General. In front of our eyes, oh, in front of Koro Koro, and what did they, they bribe, they gave money to BBC, they gave money to, to all Zoo newspapers, they started to trumpet Obiozo, oh, Apex Group, Apex, Apex, Apex. You saw them holding their meeting under, under a canopy, a ton without shame, a whole Ohaneze. Under sand, turn canopy, canopy. Maybe you saw it disgraceful and shameful. Talking rubbish. The man looks like a ginger weed anyway. Talking nonsense. These are people they have prepared for you to sell you down the drain. By the time the Fulanese are done with you, believe you me, if you don't rise up now to fight for your freedom, by the time Fulanese are done with you, you'll be more useless than a house peasant doing a Babi Allah somewhere in Zaria. Okay, let's say Biafra or the Eastern seems to be the only one fully ready for this full name or uh, eviction. Now, was there any time, because you feel like you seem to be more aware of them and you were prepared, was there any time in, in you want other religions or other ethnic group or other states about this uh, full name? evictions that's currently going on in nigeria in 2014 2015 26 they said he's a warmonger he's a he's a warmongering i went to america and i told world War congress that this war you are avoiding is going to come to your villages they said no it's not going to happen what is happening today when yoruba was supporting this the dead idiot called buhari did i not warn them that this evil your supporting will consume you. They never listened. They never wanted to listen. Uh, IPOB is a terrorist group. Uh, you're trying to divide Nigeria. But Mietiana is not. People that you are calling bandits. Uh, have you heard anybody come out to say, please, Buhari, since presidency is there defending terrorists in the forest, why don't you proscribe them? No, you cannot proscribe a Fulani group. Never. And all of you, we are supporting evil. When there is a, the proscribed IPOB, proscribed indigenous people of Biafra, these are Yoruba journalists writing junk. Every day they keep writing rubbish. But their land is under siege. In order to ensure that they get into you, they subjugate you. Look at Yoruba land, the Loring. Yoruba, how did you lose a Loring? You lost a Loring because somebody thought or felt that by aligning himself with what he felt was a superior Fulani force, he can defeat his own people. Afonja, what happened? As a result of that miscalculation, the great Yoruba race lost a Loring to Fulani Caliphate. That is why in a Loring you have an emir of a Loring, not an Oba of a Loring, answerable to Sokoto. That is where Lai Muhammad comes from. You can see them. Sokoto slaves in Yoruba land. When I say that it's, 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 it's not religion, it has nothing to do with religion. Okay.
let's say the Ibos or the let's say the Apple are ready and uh, not against Nigerians but against the Fulani Jaya wings. But I wanted to tell us and uh, let's say what is the alternative and the way forward for the rest parts of Nigerians. Unless you prefer epileptic um, a power supply, unless you prefer to live your whole life without running water, unless you want to live in abject poverty and deprivation, your only alternative is a revolution. Let nobody discourage you. All the countries of the world doing very, very well, they all went through a revolution. You must go through it. If you don't go through it, you can never ever survive as a people. Fulani will take you over. As simple as that. As a secular democratic government must be demolished. It must be demolished for you to survive. They have to be demolished. If you do not demolish them, your lives will end very, very miserably. I assure you. That is the future that awaits you. Now, our people must understand this very clearly, especially my Yoruba brothers and sisters. It is about time you stop supporting evil. That evil is in Asorok. That evil is a, a gang, a gang of, of reprobates calling themselves presidency. The more you, so, you keep on supporting evil in the zoo, the more your land will be taken from you. The more your daughters will be raped and abducted, the more your sons will be slaughtered in cold blood. And under one Nigeria, there is nothing you can do about it. Absolutely nothing. Because one idiot that the groomed will rise up and say to you, Oh no, it's one Nigeria. There is crime everywhere. Uh, haven't you heard about Zamfara? Haven't you heard about um, Katsina? There is crime everywhere. That is not the case. The crimes you have in the north, the insecurity you have in the north, is as a direct consequence of their own action. We must rise up and say that enough is enough. That there must be no criminality. Once you allow criminality to come in, then you have failed woefully. You have failed woefully. And let, let me also warn once again, there is no Biafran army. DSS can go and create whatever group they like. Give them guns, all, all of that rubbish, in order to justify an attack against ESN. But we are letting the whole world know that we have not floated any Biafran army. There is none. Anything you see is the handiwork of DSS. Oh, quickly before we go, I wanted to clear this part. You know, you seem to be very sure that President Muhammad Buhari is dead. And recently, everybody saw the video of him and uh, trying to fly pigeon in the, uh, in the Armed Forces Remembrance Day. But we should also draw people more attention to believe that Buhari is much more alive. But I wanted to clear this part. How sure are you that the person in the Azure Rock is a common person is not President Muhammad Buhari that every Nigerian voted for? So what is your part about this? Because in most of your videos, you seem to be very sure and you keep on repeating it. So I want you to tell us more about how sure are you? All of you know this. Everybody understands this very fact that Buhari is no more. You know that Buhari is dead. Everybody knows. But those still perpetuating this very myth that Buhari is alive are those spinning their hopes on 2023. So this is a collection of odd bedfellows. These are people who are determined by every means available to cling on to power, to continue to impoverish you, to continue to allow terrorists from all across the Sahel to occupy your farmlands and your forests. They rape your mothers, they abduct your sisters, they kill your traditional rulers, they kill the daughters of your prominent men, and you do nothing about it. Because their only consideration is to keep you focused on this very elusive, better Nigeria to come. You and I know that Nigeria can never, ever be better. We know that very well. The whole world... Hi, welcome to my channel. If this is your first time or first day of coming across my YouTube channel or seeing my face, you are highly welcome. Please be comment to my next canal. My name is Linda Chukwezi. It comes as Miguel. Click on that red button that says subscribe and you turn on the notification bell so that you'll be able 
to get information okay. on the Bis zum nächsten Video und einen schönen Tag. Tschüss. Tschüss. Bis mein nächstes Subscribe to Linda's TV Show. What are you waiting for? Click on that red button that says subscribe. You turn on the notification bell so that you'll be getting more updates from me. Leave your comment down below and share this video with your friends, families, and colleagues until we meet again in my next video. Bye-bye.